Hi, it's Coach Kennel again. I'm going to today. I'm going to go through a 200 free short course um, for a girl, and I'm going to show you a few things that we noticed using Swim Hero. And I want to show you some of the things that jumped out at me in the way that, uh, because of Swim Hero, we were able to uh, show my girl, and she made some big changes in a swim a couple weeks later. So these first four bars that you see here are from a swim. They're the first four lengths of a, a 200 short course that she did the first meet of the year this winter. And her time was a 159.72. And when I watched the video, what jumped out at me was that she was kind of floating into her turns. So, so she really wasn't tucking tight. Her, she wasn't getting her, her feet over very fast, and it was pretty evident when I looked at the video. And when I looked at the supporting data, which you're seeing here, it supports that too. You can see that this first turn here was 1.04. And we're looking at turns being 1.0 or better, and if they're under 1.0, you feel like you got a pretty good turn. We're measuring these turns on freestyle when the head dips down to when the feet push off the wall. So on this first length, she was 1.04. You can see she was 1.21 on the second turn, 1.51, so really slow into this turn, 1.1 here. So one of the things that we really try to change is seeing if we can get her, and she's had this problem before, and every t now and then she goes back to it. She just doesn't really tuck tight. She tends to just keep her body kind of open, and it causes her to really get her legs over very slowly. The other thing that I noticed was her distance underwater. On her dive, just 8.3 meters is not that great here 5.8, 5.4, 4.6. She's never been a real good underwater kicker, but these values aren't very much past the flags, and I really feel like she's better than that. So we got her to try to hold her streamline a little better, see if we could get an extra kick or two off the walls, and we felt like that's going to help her second half. Here's the last four lengths of that 200, and you're going to see a similar pattern. 1.20 on this turn, 1.12, 1.17, so kind of the whole race was sort of sloppy turns. And coming off the wall, she's not even 5.0 now, so I mean she's barely getting to the backstroke flags, 4.7 meters, 4.2, 4.5, 4.4, so the big things that we tried to get out of this swim was the fact that she really has to tuck tighter, she's got to accelerate into her turns, she's got to get her feet over faster, and she's got to be a little more disciplined underwater to save herself so she can have a better second half. What we want to do now is we're going to compare this swim with a swim a few weeks later where she was two seconds faster, she was 157.72, and we want to show you um, after working on those things how much better she did. So this screen here, the top bar, is the first 25, the first length of the first swim that I just showed you. And the one underneath it is the first 25 of the swim a few weeks ago where she went significantly faster. And by putting them together this way, you can really see the values a lot easier. And this that's one of the nice things that Swim Hero allows you to do. In the first swim, you can see this first turn was 1.04. And we said that wasn't very bad, but because she's really been working on it, 0.89, so she gained a little bit of time there. You can see she also got out a little bit further on this start, so she took that extra kick, and it didn't take her that much time, 1.83, just three-tenths of a second uh, longer to get out significantly further. Um, the other thing that we're looking at here, too, is... You know, these values with her distance per cycle, her stroke rate, and her velocity. <clears throat> Here, she her stroke rate was a little bit faster, and her, di and her distance per cycle suffered some, but the velocity was exactly the same. So really, this was the same swim other than getting out further faster off the start and really tucking and, and uh, being aggressive at this wall.
the next length will show you the same thing 1.21 on that first swim 0.77 here so again she made a significant improvement the other thing that I like about this is as you can see she really didn't slow down the, the couple strokes going into the wall to make that turn you know she held her speed pretty constant and she really got around much quicker and actually was a little less off this wall so she uh, wasn't quite as disciplined as we'd like her there on the next length is where she really made up a lot of time 0.66 here and on that first swim she was 1.51 so she made a huge improvement uh, one thing I noticed though and going in here is how much she slowed down going in I think in preparation because she knew this was so, so slow before she wanted to really correct it and she did correct it but she slowed up a little bit going into it but that's okay and, and she knows that and so we'll make that correction as well here she was a little bit further underwater so that's good she took that extra kick and the other thing as we've been showing the velocity is actually slightly slower on this one the rate is about the same and the distance per cycle is about the same so the swimming between is not that much different it's the turns uh, and coming off the wall so far that has made a big difference okay and again we see more of the same 1.1 which is not terrible but here 0.78 so it's really good and she kept her speed up going into the wall so that's really nice and here she stayed a little disciplined took that extra kick stayed out further <clears throat> values here are very similar the velocity is just slightly slower the distance per cycle just slightly under not too much difference of the swimming portion but a big big difference here in the turn okay and so on this next length we see the same pattern here she was 1.20 that first swim 0.80 so she's really really doing a good job of trying to tuck tight trying to get around did slow down just a little bit going into it but that's something that we can fix here coming off the wall staying disciplined take that took that extra kick just about the same velocity so by going into these turns harder and by staying under a little bit longer it hasn't hurt her her surface swimming at all velocities relatively the same stroke rate both 1.3 and just slightly less distance per cycle so she's holding the swim really well and really nailing her turn so far okay so here we're at the 150 mark and 1.12 and we said that that's not terribly slow but we're trying our best to keep it under 1.0 and she's still 1 point or 0.96 here 1.12 so she's doing a great job there and actually even sped up a little bit into it and here keeping over that 5.0 mark she's 5.3 here 5 4.2 and this is going to be different for everybody there are some kids that I would much rather have them extend out here somewhere but she's not great underwater at least not yet so for her I think this is really good and it's an improvement so the last turn here 1.17 on that first swim 0.91 so she's staying under 1.0 which is really a great job staying a little disciplined 5.05 uh, so she's staying over that 5 meter mark there and these are still pretty darn close rate is the same real close to the same distance per cycle so she's holding the swim really well and still getting in and out of those turns really well and be staying disciplined here and the last length a little bit further here going off the wall uh, coming off that last turn she's not quite at that 5.0 mark and I kind of think she wanted to get up and, and start racing home and you can see her stroke rate increased a little bit because she was trying to pick up the tempo some and anytime you increase the stroke rate generally your distance per cycle will go down a little bit but the velocity was a state of constant is what it was the first time uh, and her overall time you can see it was 157.72 so she was two seconds faster here and as we went through the swim it was 
just about all made up on where on her turns and that's what makes some hero so great is you can see look at the video and you can look at the data but when you compare the two and you put them together you really notice things and there's many times that I don't see something when I just watch the video and then when I look at the video with the data accompanying it it just jumps out at you and oftentimes I'll look at something and I'll see I'll wonder if they're going far enough underwater and then you can really put numbers on it and that's why this compare feature is so good with Swim Hero 2 it's uh, allowed us to improve in a whole lot of areas that I don't know that we would have been able to if we didn't have such a great and such a simple tool as Swim Hero to to use for analysis